Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Safar Preferred Credit Card Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. One of my viewers, Whispering Canadian, suggested to do a video on the Chase Sapphire preferred credit card and whether this credit card will be coming to Canada or how long it will take. So I'll do a brief video on uh, this credit card today and I'm expecting this video to be about 10 minutes long. So I'll compare some uh, Canadian credit cards with this credit card as well. I'd like to mention that I'm not talking about the, I'm not comparing the features and the benefits. I'm just comparing the point structures and whether you can come close to the Chase Sapphire preferred credit card with any Canadian credit cards and at the end I'll talk about whether this card will be coming to Canada or not. Chase Sapphire preferred credit card is a popular credit card in America. It has a $95 annual fee and the first year is free. And the point structure works like you earn two points on travel and dining expenses and one point on everything else. Uh, you can redeem those points uh, through Chase's own website. Uh, it just works like uh, proprietary points at that point. Uh, or you can convert those points to travel or uh, airline, uh, hotel or airline points. If you're redeeming uh, the points through Chase's own website, then Chase will give you 25% more value for travel redemptions. And uh, if you are converting or transferring the points to the hotel or airline partners, then Chase offers seven airline uh, programs and four hotel uh, programs or four hotel uh, partners. Now, the closest card I can think of uh, coming uh, close to the Chase preferred uh, uh, Chase Sapphire preferred credit card in Canada is the American Express Gold credit card. Uh, the point structure works uh, same uh, as both proprietary and. Uh, hybrid point what it means that you can uh, redeem points through American Express's own website or you can convert them to travel or uh, hotel uh, partners now American Express has six airline uh, partner uh, and two hotel partners where you can convert or transfer your points to and the point structure for American Express is that you earn uh, two points on travel gas grocery and pharmacy expenses and one points on everything else. Now, if you book your travel through American Express travel website, then American Express will throw in one additional points uh, in addition to two points. Uh, so you will eventually earn three points if you're buying anything from American or anything or certain travel uh, elements from uh, American Express's own website. The American Express Gold card has $150 annual fee so this is a hybrid credit card which can uh, offer both proprietary point and hybrid points. Now the next card which I can think of can come close to the Chase uh, Sapphire preferred credit card is the Scotia Gold American Express credit card and uh, this credit card only offers proprietary points it doesn't offer an option to transfer or convert points to any airline and hotel programs however the point structure is not bad American Express offer four points on gas grocery dining and entertainment and one point on everything else although it's a travel credit card it doesn't offer any additional points on travel expenses so if you are purchasing for travel expenses then you'll be earning one point uh, per dollar which I do not recommend and uh, it doesn't have any uh, other uh, point conversion option. So the other credit card I can think of which can come close to the Chase Sapphire preferred credit card is the BMO World Elite MasterCard. And this gives you two flat points on everything you purchase or on every dollar. However, it doesn't give you any option to uh, change or convert your points to any airline or hotel program. So you have to just redeem everything through BMO's website, so it's the proprietary points, uh, it's not a hybrid point. 
So these three credit cards come certain ways close to the Chase card preferred credit card. Now whether this card will be coming to Canada or not? I don't think so because if you look at what Chase has been doing for the last few years, they're actually wrapping up their Canadian operation. Uh, in 2015, Chase sold their credit card portfolio to Scotia and certain credit cards were transferred to Scotia, uh, which then Scotia absorbed and uh, issued those accounts with Scotia's own uh, credit cards. So they are wrapping up their uh, presence in Canada and also if you are looking at the Amazon uh, credit card, which is to be an uh, a joint venture or which used to be issued by the Chase Bank that card is no longer available as well so the only Scotia credit card right now in Canada I can think of is the Scotia Marriott uh, travel hotel credit card which is still uh, open and you can still apply and receive this card however this card uh, is uh, no one knows how long this card is going to stay due to the merger of uh, Marriott and Sheraton. So by looking at what's been happening in the past few years, it looks like to me that Chase doesn't want to come to Canada at this point or it has no willingness to do business in Canada. However, this is just my own opinion. Uh, if you find out one day that Chase is offering the Chase Sapphire uh, preferred credit card or other credit card uh, then don't be surprised but uh, by the pattern I'm looking at or by what they have been doing I have a feeling that they will not be coming to Canada or they will not be offering any credit cards to Canada so that's what I think about uh, the Chase uh, credit cards uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, the cards I mentioned I'll provide you a link uh, in the description box below i have some uh, reviews and unboxing on some of the cards i mentioned so check them out and uh, thank you for watching if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing